Uh, hey YouTube, this is me again. Um, just want to say this couple things. One, okay, this is to a lot of black women because y'all are too damn perfect for your own good. Now, a lot of y'all tend to say all oh, men are dogs, right? But I dealt with some black women and got cheated on, hurt, used, took advantage of, and lied to by them. And I'm referring to people I'm related to and people that I'm not. So, question to me. Y'all can get one bad experience from a ghetto nigga. One bad experience. Just one. And you say all men are dogs, right? All of them. Every last one. But I have had at least five or ten maybe more bad experiences with black women. I have not ever said that. I say the ones who I got scarred by are fucked up. I don't have one bad experience with a black chick and be like, oh, all oh, y'all ain't shit. No. I just say all the ones I experienced ain't shit. Y'all want to go saying all oh, men are dogs. Well, okay, a little teaching just so you understand. It's because y'all English don't make no damn sense. First of all, um... If all men are dogs, that means they are loyal. Because if you ever notice about a dog, that's why women, y'all, always seem to have a dog in your damn house. Let me just repeat that again. Y'all be having dogs, but you want to call guys dogs. Why do y'all have a dog? Yeah, I'll say that yourself. Because they're more loyal than a man. They stick by me. They don't cheat. But then we're dogs. But y'all have them in your house. Really. Then the crazy thing is, a dog is actually a very loyal animal. It sticks by you when you're happy, when you're sad, when you're angry, when you're depressed. When nobody else wants to be near you, a dog sticks by you more than anybody else. More than any human, a dog sticks by you. So to call a dude a dog actually is saying he's very loyal to you. It's not an insult. Because why? Okay, if dogs were such a bad animal, why do so many people have them? Because as all people say, dogs are one of the most loyal animals on earth. Because they follow you wherever you go. They wait for you to get home. They jump all over you. They sniff you. They lick you. They cry when you leave. So how are we dogs? That's not even a bad act. That's not even a bad thing to say. That's actually good. And then I learned this weird situation a long time ago when I didn't like dogs. And some lady told me something about what is dog spelled backwards? I don't know. And then I spelled it backwards. I was like, oh, God. Oh. Oh, so apparently some dogs got the spirit of God in them or something. Oh. Uh. I see, because that's why they're loyal. They don't leave you sad no matter what happens. I see. Okay. Next thing. Y'all say, you treat me like I'm a piece of meat or something. I'm a human. I'm not a piece of meat. Um, To correct that, you are a piece of meat. Because, okay, say, for example, you slice off your finger. There's muscle in your finger or meat with blood and veins and stuff connected to it. So technically, you are a piece of meat. If a lion eats your body, it's eating meat. Don't know if you ever watched them when animals attack. When, a, when an animal bites you, there's meat and blood coming out of your body. So technically, you are a piece of meat. You are. Every human's a piece of meat. All of us. We all are. Yeah. So I just thought I would correct that stereotype that y'all keep making. Because... Y'all, you keep making it. But again, to say every dude is a dog is not an insult. It's actually a compliment because dogs are like one of the most loyal animals you will ever have. So, don't know what y'all talking about, but it don't make no sense whatsoever. That's all I'm saying. Like, literally, man, open up your eye, I'll be for real. See that right there? Right there? Mm-hmm. Third it right there, right there. Open up your eyes, stop being blind to your bullshit, please. Stop doing it. Stop doing it. 
Stop doing it. Stop. Okay, peace.